So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to repurpose your content on YouTube for Instagram Reels and TikTok. Today, it's not enough just to post your content on one platform. So in order to be competitive, you must post your content on all the various social media platforms that exist. So that's gonna be Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok for the most part. But for the sake of this video, I'll just be showing you how to repurpose your content on Instagram Reels and TikTok. Let's get started. So the first thing to consider when repurposing your content for other social media platforms is the dimensions. For example, on YouTube, you will be posting videos that are essentially shot in landscape mode or in the shape of a rectangle. However, on Instagram Reels and TikTok, your content is going to be shot in portrait mode, which is the shape of a sideways rectangle. So, how do you get a YouTube video to look like a TikTok video? Well, the answer is a lot easier than you may think. All you have to do is essentially use any video editing software and adjust the crop size. And actually, I recommend doing this on your phone because it will save you a lot of time due to the fact that Instagram and TikTok only allow you to post through their mobile app. So you will wanna find a software to use. Some options are Adobe Premiere Rush and InShot. And InShot is a free video editing software that you can download through the app store on your phone. And basically what you'll do on there is you can edit videos for free in exchange for watching a couple ads when it's time to download the final edited video. And if you're already a subscriber to Adobe, I would recommend that you use Adobe's mobile video editing app, which is called Adobe Premiere Rush. And for this video, I'll be showing you how to repurpose your YouTube content using Adobe Premiere Rush. And I'll actually leave a link to both video editing softwares in the description below. So you can choose if you wanna edit your video on InShot or Adobe Premiere Rush. Both are basically the same. So whatever I show you on Adobe Premiere Rush, you can go ahead and apply to InShot as well. Okay, so here I am inside Adobe Premiere Rush and I'm gonna go ahead and add a video from Charlie's YouTube channel. So you go add media, videos, and choose this one, the 11 minute video. Now, in order to make this suitable for Instagram Reels and TikTok, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is cut out the clip that you wanna actually post on that platform. So let's go ahead and just use the first interview he did. Go ahead and zoom in so that we can edit it easier. Okay, and it looks like this is the first interview clip right here. So let's say we wanna clip this off and post it on Instagram Reels or TikTok. What you'll do is just first off trim it. So trim there at the beginning and trim at the end, so right there. Cut that and delete the extra stuff. So we're just left with now this one minute clip of an interview. And the second thing you're gonna wanna do now is adjust the dimensions. So as you can see, this isn't gonna exactly fit on an Instagram reel and it's not gonna fit on TikTok. So what you'll do is you'll change it to the sideways rectangle here, nine by 16, and you can see that it just goes directly in the middle. But you can actually adjust where this is showing. So what you'll have to do here is go to transform and go to H position and you can drag it to the left or the right to capture who's speaking. So since Charlie's speaking here, we will go ahead and capture him and go ahead and hit back. So after Charlie's done asking the question, we'll go ahead and make a cut here. Get the guy speaking, cut here. And you wanna get him in the frame as well. So we'll go back to H position and just drag it so that he fits in the frame. There you go. And you'll do this all the way through the clip, like so. Cut after he says successful, transform, drag it, clip it here. And let's say that's what we wanna use for the video. So go ahead and delete the rest of it and play it from the beginning. And then I forgot to move it here. So go ahead and drag it one more time. Boom, there you go. So I'll play it one more time. Okay, so now that that's been edited, go ahead and export it. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the resolution and the frame rates match what you recorded in. So here, we'll go with match it, 1080p, and export it. So that's pretty much how you can repurpose your YouTube content for Instagram Reels and TikTok. Now, one other thing I'll mention is that that video I used was downloaded from Charlie's YouTube channel. And what you'll really wanna do is save a copy of the original video that didn't have any subtitles on it. That way, when you go in and you clip it up and you make it suitable for Instagram Reels and TikTok, you can put new subtitles on there that actually fit in the dimensions in the video that you cropped it down to. The final piece of advice I'll leave you with is this. Instagram Reels and TikTok are short form content compared to YouTube. So when you're reposting your YouTube content on those platforms, make sure you get to the punchline within the first five to 10 seconds to make sure that your audience stays engaged. What this is gonna do is make sure that your Reel or TikTok gets put on the Explore page for more people to see than it would if it was just your followers. And the way that this gets gauged is through watch time. The reason why you're gonna wanna make sure that you get to the punchline within the first five to 10 seconds is because Instagram and TikTok actually track the videos to see how the audience engages with it 
And if there's good engagement, then they're gonna go ahead and put that on the explore page for the rest of their audience to see. So this will make sure that your videos get seen by about 100 times more people than they would if it was just your followers. Make sure to always direct your audience to where they can watch your full videos and pretty much use Instagram and TikTok as an advertising platform to direct traffic to your YouTube channel. Here at StartupWise, we're dedicated to teaching entrepreneurs how to take their business to the next level. Thank you for watching this video on how to repurpose your YouTube content for Instagram Reels and TikTok, and I will see you in the next video.